No eating the apple boats. Classy. Hey, beautiful people. It's Aria from the Teeny Tinies. I am a mama of two, and you know I love, love, love what I do, which is making music and learning with each and every one of you. Today, we're going to be learning all about... It's a surprise. I'm not telling you this yet. I'm not telling I will, however, give you a clue. I will give you one hint to let you know what we're going to be learning about today. But first, of course, you gotta say hi to gratitude. Hi. What's going on, gratitude? Gratitude always reminds me to think of at least one thing I am grateful for. Aww. So if you've seen any of the previous videos, you know I always ask this. Take a moment and think of at least one thing you're grateful for. It can be I'm grateful that I have amazing loving parents, or it can be I'm grateful that I got to go outside and play today. Whatever it is, think of at least one thing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, gratitude, <laughs> thanks for the reminder. Now, I would love to get to know your name. So if you have your two hands, we can get our lap clap going on, okay? Let's do it! Lap, clap, lap, clap, just like that. Just like that. Hello, my name is Aria. I like singing with you and learning. Hello, my name is Aria. I hope you like it too. Hello. What's your name? Wow. Beautiful, beautiful name. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, and you're doing such a good job at keeping the beat. Check you out. Yes. Can you do a drum roll? You're amazing. You're amazing. High five. <laughs> okay, time for your hint. Here's your hint. I'm going to grab my guitar. I'm going to sing a little song that I think you know, and it's going to be a hint to let you know what we're going to be learning about, okay? Bro. different sizes so here's what you're going to need if you want to join I'll let you know the items we will be using okay construction paper scissors but be very careful with the scissors they can be sharp so make sure you have an adult present to show you how to use them make sure you don't hurt yourself deal Hooray! okay one or two apples, depending on how many boats you want to make. You're going to need some toothpicks and a tub, a tub full of water. Here's my tub. You can use a really big bowl, but you want to have somewhere for your boats to float. Okay, so we're going to fill our tub up with some water and then you and I, we're going to get our apples ready and cut, and we're going to make our sails for our boat with the construction paper, okay? So I'll give you a minute to go and grab some of those items if you wanna join, and grab some water in your tub, and we'll flip around and get it started. Let's go! Science with Aria. Welcome back, so we have our two apples. Now be careful, with the knife you're going to need some help. If anything, you wanna be very careful, these are sharp. So what we wanna do is we wanna get our apples in different sizes for our experiment because we want to see which ones, if they will all float or if they'll float differently. We just wanna have a good observation of different sized apples Hooray! to make it short and simple. So we have two halves here, right? 
You can also cut some of them, again, into quarters, so they're smaller. So now we've got two smaller apples and one half. All right, now I'm going to just use these portions for our experiment, but if you want more boats, you can go ahead and cut up another apple. Now that we've done that, we know we need three sails. Yeah, one, two, three. So let's get that out of the way. We have our construction paper. Now remember we have three apples. So what we wanna do is we wanna make three different sails for our observation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make one, maybe we want one the shape of a triangle, right? So we can cut out a sail the shape of a triangle. Maybe we want one the shape of a circle. So we can make a circle. Maybe we want one to be the shape of a, what other shape? A square? Okay, a square. Might not be the perfect square, but it's a square. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut these out, okay? And then we'll flip back around. Okay, so we have our tub full of water and we have our sails cut out, our square, our triangle, and what's this one? Circle! That's right. Okay, we've got our three sails and our toothpick. So what you wanna do, be careful, the tip of the toothpick can be a little bit pointy. You wanna push it through here, make sure you don't poke yourself, right? Push it through, there we go, we've got our circle, and then we're gonna take our circle, and let's pick maybe a quarter size of the apple, okay? And then you just wanna get it in so that it stays, so push it down in there, right? Woohoo! We've got one boat ready to go, one apple boat. <laughs> And we've got our sail. We're gonna see if this is gonna flow. Let's get the rest done. Okay, the triangle. Let's get our triangle in there. Do the same thing, just like this. Now, what do you think? Do you think the apples are going to float or do you think they're going to sink? Hmm? And what size apple did you choose to use? Hmm? These are some of the questions you wanna be asking yourself. So here we go. Get that in there. Boat number two has a sail. <laughs> okay. And then last but not least, we've got our square. Let's do the same thing with our toothpick. Poke it through, don't poke yourself. Right? Maybe ask for some assistance on that one. And now we've got our apple that's cut in half. Right? Mm-hmm. Almost tempted to bite it, right? But we can't, it's for science. <laughs> it's for science. No eating the apple boats. Okay, so which one do you think is going to float? Hmm? The square, the circle, the triangle. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, square, you're up first. In the water. Oh, oh, got a little tilting motion happening there, but is it floating? Yes, it is, okay. Time for our square apple boat to go in. The one that's cut in half, it's bigger. Let's put you in there and see what's gonna happen. Is it gonna sink or float? It floats. Ah, pretty stable. It didn't tilt to one side like our quarter shape over here. Circle, you're up. Let's go. Let's see what's gonna happen to you. You're a quarter size circle. There we go. Aha. Okay, so a few observations. Our half, boat seems pretty stable. Our quarter size slices, our triangle and our circle, they are floating, right? But they're a little tilted to one side. It's one observation, a few observations. Let's see how they are when you introduce some wind. All right, so I want to get a closer look as we try out this experiment. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of wind and see what happens as we get our apples going um, with a little bit of wind. See what happens when the wind catches the sail. Okay, so our, our apple that was cut in half with the square shape seemed to move pretty easily with a little bit of wind. Let's see what happens with our quarter cut boat over here that has the circle.
a little harder to direct, right? I wonder why that is. I wonder why our apple that had the square, what's cut in half, seemed to respond um, more to catching the wind than our apple that's a quarter size with the circle. Let's try our last one, our triangle, quarter shaped bow. That one did pretty good. I don't, I'm not gonna say too much about what I think because I'd love to hear what your observation is. Look, we even lost a seed in there. But now that we've gotten an idea of kind of observing what happens with our apple boat that is cut in a quarter with the circle sail versus the triangle sail versus the apple that was cut in half with the square sail. Hey everyone! Hi. All right, so now that we're back and we have our, our apple sail boats, that was an interesting experiment, right? So we remember the apples that were cut in quarters, our circle and our triangle, they did float, right? They did float, but they kind of tilted to one side. And maybe that's because, look at the bottom. The bottom is not exactly, there's not a lot of surface area for it to float, right? And it's also cut on an angle, so maybe it kind of tilted to the side because of that, right? And then we have our apple that's cut in half. Now this one, I would say this one floated the best. It had a nice, flat, smooth surface, and the square sail caught more wind. So, cool little experiment for you to check out. I don't want to say too much of my observations because I want to leave some room for you to learn. I will leave you with one fun fact. Well, it's, but it's not really fun, but it's a cool fact. <laughs> Apples are made up of 25% air. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we know that they float. All right, now I wrote a little, I wrote down a little um, diagram for you and I didn't answer all of the questions because I want to leave that up to you, okay? Check it out. Now, I did get some water over here from my sailboats, but you can have a, a sheet like this, write your name at the top. First one says, what type of soil did you choose? Not soil. What type of sail did you choose <laughs> for your boat? I went with a square. I know we did an experiment with a few different ones, but for now, I'm just gonna choose one. I'm gonna say we went with our square, okay? So I wrote square at the bottom, I drew a picture of a square. What size of apple did you choose for your boat? Question mark. Was it big or was it small? Because we went with the square, I said that it was big, so I circled big. Okay, the next one says, draw a picture of your boat. Did your boat float? So you can go ahead and draw a picture of your boat. There's the seeds that were inside and there's the toothpick and there's the square. And I said, yes, yes, it did float. And then what did you learn? And you can write that here, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed the experiment and have fun with drawing your pictures and have fun with sailing your apple boats. And we will see you again, hopefully sometime soon, okay? Gratitude, do you wanna say bye? Bye bye. Yes, and don't forget to think of at least one thing you're grateful for, okay? Hooray! All right, maybe you're grateful that you got to try this experiment, Hooray! right? Okay, we're gonna sing our goodbye song. You're gonna sing along or clap your hands, whichever you prefer, okay? It's time to say goodbye.